at your feet. That's okay. Because I'm going to make it in the heart. It's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Go ahead. It's dripping from the heart. It's okay. The heart's fine. so full. What is going on buddy? Welcome back to All Things Film. Today I'm here to do a breakdown of the opening minutes for The Walking Dead Season 9. This video has been going around and it's about 5 minutes long so it's a lot of footage and I'm very excited to be talking about this today. Before I do begin though, if you are a fan of The Walking Dead, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We are less than 2 weeks away from The Walking Dead and we're going to have a ton of stuff coming up so I hope you guys do enjoy this stuff. But yeah, other than that, let's get started. So what I loved about the first 5 minutes of this episode is that it already feels like some old school Walking Dead. I feel like the atmosphere is great and I really enjoyed this. So let's start off with the opening scene. Now the episode opens up with we see the community rebuilding, uh, we see a bunch of you know new houses and you know farming and it just shows Alexandria and the rebuilding process. And then we see Rick walking out of his house and we see Judith drawing or painting I should say with Michonne. And what's really cool here is that Judith is talking. Uh, it's so cool, you know, after, you know, being on the show for you know, six years almost, uh, you know, she finally is talking and that's very cool to hear. And what she's drawing here is a family portrait. Uh, she, she right here is a clear shot of Carl. And I love that she remembers Carl because if you remember, uh, you know, the last episode for Carl, he spent a lot of time with her. And even though she was young, you know, he took photos and stuff. So obviously she is going to remember who he was. And something I find a little weird and a little creepy also is that while Judith is painting, she said, um, it's dream dripping from the heart and she's painting with red paint. Now, I don't know if that's supposed to be symbolizing something, symbolizing Rick's death. I have no clue, but um, this show is essentially, you know, revolving around death. So, I don't know. I find that a little bit creepy, but for the most part, I love this opening scene because, you know, it, it showed their family and, you know, uh, it, was, it was just super cute seeing Judith, uh, you know, talk and draw next to Michonne. So, yeah, that was such an adorable scene. I loved it. But moving on, the next thing we see in the opening minutes is this famous scene where we, we've been getting a bunch of promo images of just this we see michelle and rick and judith you know in this grass field and i loved it um you know i was really excited for this scene uh but we just see them you know taking a walk and we see um you know this season is gonna really emphasize i think the meaning of family because this being rick's last season i know they're gonna really emphasize family and love and friendship and all this stuff and try to make everybody as happy as possible. Obviously, there's going to be conflict with the saviors. We know that. But at least Rick and Michonne and Judith. I know those three are going to be, like, you know, super close. And, you know, because the last couple of seasons, they haven't been really, you know, they haven't been that close because they've been busy with the war and stuff. So once Rick does leave, it's going to be even more heartbreaking. So while they're in the green field, we see a bunch of crows flying all over the place. And all I got to say for this right here is that crows are not a good symbol. You know, and I feel like with the scene just a second ago with Judith saying that it's dripping from the heart and in the crows, obviously meaning some bad stuff. I really feel that they're going to emphasize uh, bad luck as well. You know, I feel like they're going to really foreshadow... Um, you know, Rick's demise, because we all know it's coming, so I feel like they're going to be heavy with that foreshadowing, but we're going to have to wait and see how much more, you know, they foreshadow for us. So moving on to the sanctuary, over here we see the group like cooking, and we see them farming and stuff. We see Regina here walking through the crops, and it's kind of, she's kind of getting the crows to go away, because the crows are definitely going to be a prom this season for the crops, and that's also why they put up that scarecrow Ty Walker, because they want the crows to go away. And then we see her dumping some fish into this bucket. We see this other guy stirring up something. 
And then we see Eugene and Rosita here also um, doing something. I have no clue what exactly they're doing here. I don't know what this machine is, but they're definitely, it looks like a bunch, I feel like they're doing like just cooking and stuff like that along those lines. But I love how they split up the groups and some of them are at the sanctuary um, because they know they can't trust the saviors just yet. And we have the group kind of overlooking what the saviors are doing. And that brings me to Daryl. Um, we see Daryl here reading this motorcycle book and we see some other saviors working on motorcycles and stuff. And Daryl, they said Daryl was going to start off at the sanctuary, so I'm happy he did. And I think this is the best place for him to be at right now. And it's also going to be a place that he, where he's going to cause drama. And we see that right off the bat because we see Laura come in here. And I'm going to be honest, when Laura came up here, I really thought those two were about to go for a kiss. I was like, what the hell? How do we not know about this relationship? But she didn't kiss him. She just went out to him and is telling him something. And Laura is telling him about the saviors putting up the walkers as scarecrows I guess and because he goes out and this is a clear shot of a rat and Zach McGowan's character uh, his savior and they're basically trying to tell Daryl that they're doing it for crows but then he just shoots the walker right in the head not listening to them at all so I really do like this scene because it tells us a number of stuff first of all it tells us that Laura is gonna be a good savior because she went up to Daryl and told him what the saviors are doing and obviously she wouldn't do that if she was against Daryl and I don't trust a rat you know because even though she smiled at Rick I feel like she has something up her sleeve and the fact that she's hanging out with this guy you know this guy we know is a bad guy so maybe he talks her into doing something bad because his character description is a savior who doesn't want to work with the other community so we know this guy isn't good and I loved how this scene gave us a lot of information right off the bat like we know Laura is gonna be one of the good saviors we know that these two are not following orders and we know that Daryl is gonna be giving the saviors a lot of hard time so I love that these opening minutes are giving us a lot of new information real quick now this next Next part I absolutely love because man oh man it feels like a zombie apocalypse like some old school Walking Dead and this is all I wanted the Walking Dead to be and I'm so excited to see this but I know it's just a little thing but I get excited about this kind of stuff because it just feels classic to me and we see Tara on a horse just talking to the walkie talkie to Eugene and then the scene cuts and we see Jesus and Aaron just killing some walkers in the middle of the road and just having a conversation like I love that like we haven't had this in so long and it just feels so good to have this Aaron is talking to Jesus saying that you should teach me the way you do stuff uh, you know just two guys having a conversation killing some walkers you know it's so fun to see that you know they're not worried about anything you know they're just killing walkers we see their horses in the background meaning you know obviously they were gonna be riding horses not driving cars and it just feels like a classic zombie apocalypse and that's what I love to see and these opening minutes you know um, are great also something that I found very interesting is that they might be building up Jesus and Aaron's relationship this season because I know a lot of people want to see them together and I could definitely see them together and you know it's possible and I wouldn't be surprised because you know within the first couple minutes they already have a connection and I love how you know within the first few minutes of the season 9 they're already telling us so much so this is off to a great start Next, you see Daryl riding his new bike, and he rides past Jerry. And what I love here is how the group is all communicating with each other, talking over the walkie-talkies, and everybody has like a job and a position. First of all, I love this because it's straight out of the comic books. That's exactly what happened in the comics during the new beginning. But second of all, you know, I just love how the characters are all interacting with each other. But this is the scene where the group goes to Washington because it cuts to Washington, and I love the details here. Like we see Capitol Hill with uh, you know weeds all over it. We see these buildings things with vines and uh, I just love the details um, in the buildings and the grass and the cars and stuff but this is I love this scene because it feels like the first episode of The Walking Dead to me because I remember when you know Rick went into Atlanta and this walker slowly started getting up that's what they're doing right now you know the group is going into Washington and the walkers are slowly getting up and headed towards them I just love it now uh, but this is an awesome entrance when Rick comes in here and just smashes his walker <laughs> with his new mace uh, just an absolutely badass entrance into Washington. And then we see the whole group coming in together. We see Rick, Michonne, Ezekiel, and the group following them. And I love it, you know. I love how they're all sitting in this carriage with the horse carrying them. And I think this is a great five minutes. The first five minutes were... I think it was really good um, and also the music it feels like the music the soundtrack the background music it was all really well done and I think they're doing a great job so far they've been hyping it up all season or all off season
season and now we got our opening minutes and it's great you know it's not a letdown I love what I saw and I, I mean I know it's too early to say um, you know season 9 is going to be amazing but I truly feel like it is going to be an amazing season and one of the best seasons of The Walking Dead I feel like I mean it definitely could be and this would be absolutely perfect if we weren't losing Rick Grimes. <laughs> uh, but even though we are losing Rick, I still feel like, you know, this season can definitely execute. I also love how within the first five minutes of the season, we're already in Washington. So they're picking up the pace. We're not doing any more slow shit, hopefully. And I'm loving it so far. But in the comments down below, you guys be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions of, you know, the first five minutes and what you're excited for about season nine. But I am going to wrap it up there. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you guys for all the support on these videos. I do appreciate it. Again, for daily Walking Dead videos, be sure to subscribe. We're less than two weeks away, so we have a bunch of videos coming out. And I hope you guys did enjoy this. And thanks for watching, guys. It's been All Things Film. And until next time, peace.